Good evening. The Wattsburg community is rallying behind a family tonight that lost almost everything in a weekend house fire. Tyler Gallagher was able to speak with that family this evening. He joins us now in the studio with much more. Tyler. Thanks, Sean. The Maxson family had been living in their house on Route 8 for three years when a fire tragically took most of their belongings. But with some help from others, the family is looking to get back on their feet. Nine years worth of memories is gone in seconds, minutes. On Saturday morning, Jeremy and Caleb Maxson came home to the unthinkable. I arrived about, I'd say, 9 o'clock and... Now it's just fully engulfed. Yep, and there's eight train. crews here, eight fire crews here, and the whole house was gone. Although Maxson's brother and sister were home at the time, no one was hurt in the fire. But she says they lost baby chickens, three rabbits, and two cats in the fire, as well as years of memories. Everything inside is everything we own. We've nine years, nine years of years us living. being together as a family. Everything was inside there from the things from our kids being born to the things of kindergarten, first grade, I saved in totes for them. It's just it's rubble. The couple and their four kids have been living in a hotel since the fire, and after complications with their insurance, they won't be getting coverage for their loss. As you could see behind me, this is the aftermath of the fire here on Route 8. The homeowners tell us that they believe the fire started in that small crawl space behind the caution tape there, but local organizations have been coming together to help get this family back on their feet. We're already seeing an outpour of support. Um, when I was at the building this morning, I saw uh, teachers and community members bringing in items. The Wattsburg Area Elementary Center has been collecting donations for the family who are looking for clothes, hygiene products, and anything else to help them get back on their feet. The Maxons say the Red Cross has helped them find temporary shelter, but tomorrow they will be staying with a family member until they find another place to live. That fire was deemed accidental from an electrical issue in the basement. And if you would like to donate to the Maxson family, you can drop off items at the Wattsburg Area Elementary Center at 10782 Wattsburg Road. Back to you, Jen. 